Hello and welcome to OBTimesofIndia.com. I am Akash Dasgupta. Now, the 5th of September 2023 was the deadline given to all teams to submit their provisional 15 member squad lists for the ICC ODI World Cup 2023 to the ICC. And now, Team India have announced the 15 men who are going to be representing India in this home World Cup in October November this year. Captain Rohit Sharma and Chief Selector Ajit Agarkar held a press conference in Sri Lanka where Team India is currently playing the Asia Cup to announce the 15 members who have made the cut for the World Cup this year. Uh, it has been along expected lines, this announcement. As Times of India has been reporting, KL Rahul has made the cut for the 15-member squad for the World Cup. This despite the fact that he hasn't played any competitive cricket since May of this year after picking up an injury in the IPL. In fact, he hasn't played any ODI cricket since March of 2023. But having said that, KL did receive a full fitness clearance from the medical team at the NCA. On Monday, he went through a simulation exercise, a match simulation exercise at the NCA under the watchful eyes of head physio Nitin Patel. And as soon as he was given fitness clearance, uh, it was quite obvious that KL will make the cut for the World Cup even though uh, it did raise a few eyebrows. Uh, some people felt that he's perhaps being rushed into uh, the squad for the uh, World Cup, a tournament as big as the World Cup, and that to a home World Cup. But KL, of course, has been an integral part of India's uh, ODI plans for a while now. In fact, he is India's number one uh, wicketkeeper batter uh, pick currently, because remember, there is no Rishabh Pant right now. Uh, so KL Rahul makes the cut uh, and what this also means is that Sanju Samson has missed out and this is again something the Times of India had reported earlier. Sanju Samson will not play the World Cup this year uh, at home. Uh, there were enough indications of this especially after India announced the Asia Cup squad where remember Sanju is the travelling reserve. He was not in the main 17 member squad. So that was hint enough that Sanju is not being considered perhaps for the ODI World Cup. Not surprisingly, Ishan Kishan has been included. Now, he's somebody who's been in great form in this format, one day cricket. He in fact now has four consecutive one day half centuries. The last one was that fantastic 82 that he scored against Pakistan in India's Asia Cup opener. Unfortunately, the match was washed out. Um, a bit of a surprise, I would say, to see Surya Kumar Yadav in the final uh, squad for the World Cup. Again, we had reported this that Sky is going to make the cut, but now that it has been rubber stamped and the final official announcement has been made, uh, again, a number of eyebrows raised because Surya is someone who we know is absolutely fantastic in the T20 format. He's proved it day in and day out in the IPL and in T20 internationals. But he hasn't managed to translate that form into one-day cricket yet. If you look at his average overall in ODIs, it's below 25 right now. And by his own admission, Surya has said that he's yet to crack the one-day international uh, code. So it's a bit of a surprise to see Surya there. Some feel that someone like a Tilak Varma, again, very, very early days for him, a young player. But some feel that Tilak Varma perhaps uh, should have found a place in the squad. Also because that would have given India another left-handed batting option. Let's talk about some of the other players now. Shreya Sayer, fully fit, of course. He's playing the Asia Cup currently uh, for India. Uh, he has made the cut for the World Cup as well. But if you look at how much uh, Shreyas has managed to do so far after coming back from a long injury layoff, in the only inning that he's played so far in uh, the Asia Cup against Pakistan, he made a 9-ball 14, batting at number 4. Uh, in the match against Pakistan, uh, match against Nepal, rather, he was uh, slightly uh, rusty in the slips, dropped the catch as well. But he's very much in India's long-term plan, so it's not really a surprise to see uh, Shreyas make the final cup. Now, the players who pick themselves in this squad, Rohit, of course, the captain, Shubman, Virat, Hardik, uh, who is the vice captain, in fact, Jadeja, Bumrah, Shami, Siraj and Kuldeep. These players pretty much picked themselves. So, not a surprise at all to see these names in the final 15-member squad. Uh, in the bowling department, there's no place for Prasid Krishna. Shardul Thakur finds a place and so does Akshar Patel. Now, the World Cup, remember, will be played entirely in Indian conditions this time. So, perhaps the task for the selectors and the team management was a tad bit easier this time because they didn't have to plan for foreign conditions. Uh, if I could quickly run you through the final India squad for the 2023 ICC ODI World Cup. Uh, Rohit Sharma captain, Shubman Gill, Virat Kohli, Shreya Sayer, Ishan Kishan, KL Rahul, Hardik Pandya, the vice captain. Surya Kumar Yadav, Ravindra Janeja, Akshar Patel, Shardul Thakur, uh, Jasprit Bumrah, Mohammad Shami, Mohammad Siraj and Kuldeep Yadav. 
Now, uh, one very important thing to remember is that changes to this provisional squad can only be made up to September 28th. No changes will be allowed after that. Now, the World Cup begins on the 5th of October, of course, and India will play their, their first match uh, against Australia on the 8th of October in Chennai. Now, this time again, the World Cup is following the round-robin format, which means that uh, the 10 participating teams will play the 9 other teams once each, so 9 matches per team. And then the top four will make it through to the knockout stages, which begins, of course, with the semi-finals. The top four will make it through to the semis and then, of course, on to the final. This is going to be a big, big World Cup because India is hosting an ODI Cricket World Cup as sole hosts for the very first time. So from the Indian perspective, a very big World Cup. And now we know the 15 men who are going to be uh, participating in the World Cup and representing Team India. Stay with the Times of India for news breaks, analysis, interviews and events. We bring you stories from your neighbourhood and from across the globe as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos.